area is felt, uh, which I decided to do after I left teaching when I retired. Um, I wanted to study something more creative and um, I got the idea of lighting the felt so you get a, another dimension and um, it's kind of gone from there really. My husband helped me do the boxes because he's a technical side of it. It took a long time really working out how to get it right. It's so tactile, you start off with just strands of coloured wool and um, it's kind of magical really how when you wet it and roll it, it then eventually turns into a fabric and um, then I sometimes put silk threads on as well and stitch into it so that gives a different dimension and uh, I love the colours that I can use and uh, the textural effects I get. This year I've made some lamps um, uh, which I think are something different and I've tried to get some 3D effects on this one with um, poppies. I, um, I buy my wool normally ready coloured. These are wool tops which has been cleaned and dyed. This is merino wool um, which is available in all different colours and different types of actual sheep wool. I have in the past processed fleeces from scratch. A friend of mine up the village has got Texel cross sheep and I did process one of their fleeces.